What's going on guys? Dustin here with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Today I'm joined by Junior. You're not Fuller. I'm doing it anyway. We're back with uh, another episode of From the Gallery. Um, that's where we take your gallery ads and rate them on a scale of one to 10. Uh, is it zero to 10, one to 10? Ah, uh, zero's a little aggressive, I'd say one to 10. All right, one to 10, so one being the worst, 10 being the best. Um, so yeah, uh, before we jump into it, we have this cool new hoodie. Uh, this is the front, oh this is Just the back. You roll over it, don't. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, basically, pick up a hoodie, get entered to win uh, BDS suspension, Archon wheels, any size, any finish, uh, paired with Fury tires, also black label lighting is gonna hook us up with a uh, rock lighting kit. And Offset's Garage will do the, uh, the labor, should you so choose. So, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. Let's do it. Our first truck is a 1998 Toyota Land Cruiser. Hmm. Uh, fuel shock, 17 by 10 minus 18s, uh, BFG AT tires. Uh, looks like it's on a leveling kit. An old man emu leveling kit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's got the, uh, the roof rack there. Um, Got the snorkel on the side. Big old KC lights maybe in the front. I don't know if they're KCs, but they're just giant. Giant LED lights. Gotta um, have the winch. Yep, hidden winch full, in the front. What is it, full bar that covers the whole entire grill. I don't know. Oh what. yeah, the whole front protection there, sure yeah. enough. Uh, this see. is like not your normal gallery at it, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, uh, this Aren't is... these trucks like kind of like, like not? Rare? Yeah, that's like, not a super uh, super normal truck. I mean, it's got the fender protection there. You see that? So geez. the, the uh, front bumper. Goes I don't know all if he actually over. uses this thing, but it looks like he uses it. Look at how like clean the body is. Yeah, it's crazy. Round rate it. Yeah, I'm ready if you're ready. All right, three, two, one, eight. eight. Oh yeah, cool. I mean, for all the reasons like we said, I love the the that it's super clean. The wheel and tire package is awesome on that. Um, uh, everything is very complete, so I, the only thing I could knock it for is I wish it was a little bigger, you know, a little taller. I think we go had a graphics kit like on the back half of it yeah, or something yeah. to make it look more like gritty, but definitely very cool build. Yeah, super neat. Up next, we have a 2014 Jeep Wrangler JK. That's a badass photo. Yeah, it is. Um, shout out to this guy for having really high quality gallery photos. It always makes it uh, much easier to do this. Uh, Black Rhino Mojave 20 by nine. Is that how you say it, Mojave? I, I think Maybe? so. I, I don't, I've never been there, so that's a desert, right? Mojave. <laughs> <laughs> 20 by 9, minus 12. Uh, Toyo Open Country MT, 35 by 13 and a half with a Terraflex 3-inch kit on it. He is... Like three quarter, like if you look at the rear, the front, ooh, there's no front ooh, bumper, ooh, ooh, ooh. so like it makes it, um, the whole tire stick out in the front. Yeah, I was just going to say that he's missing the, he's got the shorty bumper and then yeah. I believe they, these have the... Oh, he took the fender The fender like, guards flare, off yeah. as well, yep. So. And then the rear, if you kind of look, it looks like he's got about three quarters sticking out. Look like at the angry headlights though. It's all, I love I, that. It's gotta be aftermarket. I love that. All murdered out. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, Eight. nine. Nine? Yeah, it's a nine for me. It's, it has all the attention to detail. Um, again, I'm not a Jeep guy, but uh, the headlights, the new, you know, the front grille, um, the shorty bumper, the wheel and tire package is awesome with that poke. It, he it does just, have a lot done to it. I like they took the fenders off because yeah. it just, it makes it seem so much more aggressive. Yeah, it just looks really well overall. Yep. 2012 Ram 2500. So this I've is never Ray's seen truck. This one before. <laughs> Archon Crown Series Triumphs 24 by 14 minus 81s. A Fury Country Hunter MTs and a 40 by 15 and a half, which is a beefy tire. Uh, and a Magoy's 8 inch lift kit. Um, this one should go pretty quick for us because we've yeah, seen this seen truck some more than about once. 3 million times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's rate it. Uh, let's do it. Ready? Three, two, two one, nine eight. and a half. Really? The only reason I give it a nine and a half is because I know what he's got uh, under the hood as far as like power, yep. and I know what he's gonna be doing under the hood as far as power. Sure, sure. He's looking. He wants to push like eight, nine hundred. Oh, okay. So. All right. Yeah, I might have <laughs> rated it a little higher than. For me, I'm not a Mopar guy. Don't sure. don't murder me, please. Um, but neither am I. But like a Cummins is a Cummins. I feel like it's just six in a row, reliable. ready to tow. Yeah. I don't Here know. Here we go. No, it's. I mean, it's a beautiful truck. It looks really good. I would personally like to see some aftermarket bunk bumper action in there somewhere, oh. maybe, you know? I like how clean it is though, cause it's just, it's so simple and like the chrome matches the chrome for me personally. Sure. I like it, I don't know, but yeah. I see what you're saying too at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's either way, it's a beautiful truck. Uh, seeing it in person, obviously. And uh, the crazy thing is better. too, he's got 24s on there, mm -hmm. right? And then he's got 40s and it still looks like a beefy setup. It's not like he's running rubber bands and skating or something like that. Like, yeah. even with 24s, he made sure he went with that 40 because he, he didn't want something that was overly Super like, thin, yeah, yeah, 26s and 35s or something like that. When he drives this thing, I mean, in the summertime, obviously it's winter in Wisconsin. We try to put the nice things away due to salt, but 
uh, three seasons out of the year, he dailies this thing for oh, the yeah. most part. He'll drive it anywhere. He, so. Yeah, he puts on like 30,000 miles a year and he's got five vehicles that he does it with, so. <laughs> yeah, he drives a lot, so. Ooh, okay. Oh. Uh, 2019 Ford F-250 Super Duty, uh, Archon Cron Series Triumphs again, this time in a 22 by 14. Uh, needle trail graps, and then he's just reverse leveled, right? Yep, uh, he's got bags in the rear now, okay. but essentially still just reverse leveled. Cool. As so, far as the front goes, it's basically stock suspension. There's no difference between reverse leveling for the front for trimming wise. Okay. Obviously, this thing's all whited out. This is Sean's truck, for those of you that don't know. Um, all whited out, uh, bronze finish on the Triumphs, which is beautiful. I love that bronze finish. Um, it's like a, yeah, a custom finish that Sean had done, so it's not something that's like available right now, unfortunately, but it, in, in person, it's like crazy. That color, it pops. Other than that, uh, pretty much everything is whited out in this truck as Sean does it. As per Sean, yeah. Um, Literally painted everything to match. So bumpers, yep. grill, all of that. The headlights, taillights are uh, custom done and painted white to match as well. I think he's got LED white LEDs in the uh, cab lights up top. Oh, really? I don't okay. I mean, the photos show it, but I'm pretty sure just to match everything. He got rid of all of like the orange and the red and everything on the truck and just made it. So it's pretty white much all white except yep. for the bronze wheels. So exactly. Cool. I'm ready to rate this one. Let's do it. Three, two, one, ten. ten. Damn. Yeah, I. Man, on a, like a daily driver setup, like That's what he exactly built this for. That's exactly what I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, it is perfect in every regard. Yep. I mean, it's it's just beautiful all around. It's so simple. It's like so simple if you just look at it, but then you like realize that everything's been painted to match. There's a lot of like time that went into all yeah. of that stuff to make it look as clean and simple as it does. And, for a daily driver, for just driving it around and having a custom vehicle at the same time that's like functionable, yep. this is the way to do it for sure. Yeah, I just picture taking this thing up north or hooking it to a trailer or what, whatever you need to do. Driving across the country, yeah. like literally anything. And it's gonna it be reliable, it, so. it's a brand new truck. It, oh, yeah. It's awesome. 2010 Chevy Silverado 1500. Oh, uh, I've this, seen this one around too. This one has the uh, the Archon Caesars on it in a 24 by 14 uh, amp mud terrain attack MTs and a 35, 13 and a half with the super lift eight inch kit with the king coilovers. Oh, so yeah. this is Bailey's truck. Yep. <laughs> These are actually outdated photos because yeah, I know he has head new headlights, headlights as well. But yeah, he's got the super lift eight inch kit there. Um, I love that wheel, by the way, the Caesars is beautiful. Good pairing on the wheel and tire combo, I think, for more of a show truck style. Yep, yeah, so definitely what we wanted to go with. Yep. And even on the uh, eight inch lift that he has, he only went with 35s. I think part of it's just these Chevys have such like square wheel yeah, wells and the whole back side, even with bashing it in. Yep, uh, I'm ready to rate this one if you are. Yeah, let's do it. All right, three, two, one, nine. Eight. Okay, what makes it a nine? Um, I just think overall, especially now with his new headlights and stuff, which unfortunately those aren't in here, so I'll definitely have him get those added in, but he's got a lot done and there, I know what, where he's going with it too, so I know like the, the next pieces he's going <laughs> with, so I'm excited to get it to that 10, sure. you know, but like the King coilovers themselves are just crazy. Like you can see them in the wheel, well, like just bam, there they are. Yeah. It's like just blacked out truck and then just like the coilovers Bright blue screaming. coilover, yep. yeah. Yeah, I've always appreciated that. And Superlift and King is a great partnership, especially for what you pay for those kits. You know, it's it's awesome. So yeah, it's a beautiful truck. I would like to see, again, just a little bit more, and it sounds like he's got some more stuff coming, yep. but I'd like to see a little bit more either, again, bumpers or just something to tie it all together. It's yep. a great start. So. Yeah. A 2002 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, uh, Moto Metal MO962s in 20 by 12, Milestar Patagonia MTs 38 by 15 and a half, and a seven inch BDS suspension kit. This thing is pretty big, not gonna lie. Here, oh, he's got a BMW flip over here. Did you see that? Hiding in the wheel well there. Hmm. You, you know what that is? No. So it's a gooseneck ball, but then you can pull a pin, flip it over, and it sits level in the oh, bed. Oh, sure. So I'm assuming he does some towing with this thing, which is crazy to me. I find it interesting that. Um, um, these trucks have the same body as the 1500s, but they get the tow mirrors, which is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. So he's got a little lean going on there. Okay, all right. Pretty decent overall. That's a neat color, that dark blue. Yeah. So. And it looks like it's in good condition too. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't have the iconic Wisconsin uh, uh, rocker yeah. rust, right? So I'm uh, I'm ready to go if you are. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, three, two, one, seven. Six. Okay. It It's almost there for me personally, but like the bumper, like, I like aftermarket bumpers that kind of follow the body lines or kind of go with the truck. And I sure. feel like this one's just a little too aggressive personally for this body style. The body style is very roundy because it's like, I think they're called like round eye or something. Yeah, like with that. The, the way the front grill is yeah. pulled back. And yep. it's just kind of a chunky, sharp bumper then, which for me just kind of sticks out. And it kind of seems like it's like, I don't know. 
I, I love Big the cut. hoods on these body style 2500s though. Like I know people will take these and put them on the Sierras then because all okay. you need to do is kind of cut away the corners. Sure. Because it kind of sits up a little bit then. So I, I love the hood. I love the, the truck body style itself. Um, headlights, I think are like, there's better options I think out there than yeah, what I would was agree. picked. Um, love the tow mirrors. I would remove the body cladding on the side of it. Sure, and just make like, it clean. Yeah, I'd clean up the truck a lot. And then he's got the flares on there too, which I don't mine necessarily, I think, because it kind of matched the whole like beefy tire setup. Yep. Um, and then he had the um, the riveted uh, gas, gas cap, cap, which I'd say get rid of that and put a blue one on there. Personally, everyone's gonna do their own thing, obviously, but. Right, yeah, I agree. I think it's a, it's a neat truck. I agree on the front bumper thing. I think that throws it off for me uh, personally, but super clean truck, um, great build otherwise. So. Yep, Yeah. I dig it. Cool. Well, that's another episode of From the Gallery. If uh, you want a chance for your ride to be featured, head on over to customoffsets.com forward slash ad. Is this where we do the, the thing? Do you hate the thing? Because I know Keaton Angle hates. it a little bit more. Oh, like this? Oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And with that, we'll see you next time. Subscribe, youtube.com slash customoffsets oh, yeah. TV. Thanks for that. I'm new here. Peace. Break. <laughs> Killed it, bro. Thanks, dude.